And we're back. So this is the before and after for One Piece Stampede. The 14th feature film of this series. Oda is on creative supervisor role and it commemorates the 20th anniversary of this series. Holy smokes, 20 years. But anyways, uh, checked out the directing. He's also writing. And he hasn't directed a film since 02. He worked on the first episode of Q, And then the writer wrote stuff. So do I have any expectations? No, this is the first One Piece film I've seen. So hopefully, it's been a long time coming since I've seen even the anime of One Piece. Because I just read it. Because I can't catch up. But yeah, I just thought that I should support it because it's playing here. It's been out for a while and finally for some reason I found it that is screening again with English subtitles. Last time it was dubbed, didn't want to miss that. So now we're back here with the English subs. So yeah, I wonder if it's going to showcase more of the skills because it's been lacking in that department for a while in the manga. Or maybe I've just been missing it and I'm behind anyways for the manga. But uh, yeah, the expectation of just some, some nice animation and uh, some wacky uh, pirate story. So, anyways, that's it. I wonder if it's gonna be a full house. It was a full house last time I saw it when it was dubbed. I don't know why, but it's empty right now, and I'm an hour early. They let me an hour early for some strange reason. But anyway, so that's that's it. This is before, and this is after. Holy smokes! Like this was amazing. It's like imagine Endgame. But instead of 10 years and 25 films, you have 20 years of how many episodes now we're on? Holy crap, like the pacing, the writing, the motions, the cameos. Oh my God, I'm so glad more and more people showed up. At first it was like five people. I was like, oh my God, Cineplex, what have you done? Like, do you not market this at all so no one knows that it is screening today? And I'm so glad we had so much more people in. And like people were just cheering. We got the Conquerors hockey, and and everything was just great. And it was it was beautiful, beautiful. Like we we had the original two starters, like Usapu and Luffy, and then 20 years of the anime, 22 years now since '97. Is it 27? Yeah, 22 years of just the history, and so many great cameos, and just like. The layering of the villain. I mean, granted, the movies are they canon? I don't think they are, but they use existing like what's out. Maybe I'm wrong because Oda did supervise this, so he probably had to put a stamp of approval on this. And and yeah, like just the animation, we finally get some, to see some kick-ass like action sequences with Zoro and uh, that blind swordsman's guy I am so bad with names but just like every time someone showed up people were cheering because it was just like damn it he's here she's here oh my god like what oh my god like just, yeah, yeah like the, the story itself it, it's pretty pretty good I mean we have the strongest contender again it, it's a very generic like one piece type of vibe but holy smokes like when when Luffy is like the strongest is like I'm gonna protect my crew it's like this, this moment of where like I feel like Oda has overcome Dragon Ball. Like Goku has always been a pain in the ass where he just wants to fight people stronger than him and it's like he gets his like existence into trouble, like humanity into trouble, but like holy crap, Luffy's just on an adventure and he's just fighting people over and over again. And it's just like him being stronger or protecting his friends. Like for me there's like a moment where Yeah, I got teary eyed, where 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 this will get the last showdown, the last duel, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and it's just like going nuts. And then, and the bullet realizes what's going down, and he loses. And that's when it's like, wow, with the writing. Oda was inspired, motivated by Dragon Ball. Because I mean, Dragon Ball has touched so many lives, but holy crap, One Piece! Like wow, One Piece. And definitely, it's hard to juggle. So props on the writers to even have so many characters on the screen like you thought Endgame was crazy this is nuts like people did things I mean granted he he, the, the two of them sort of whittled it down to like five core members but it represents something and and it's just like wow 
because wow, I'm so glad I watched this in the theaters. And I hate how it's only screening once. There was like a dub, I think, a few months, weeks ago. This came out back in August in the States. And we're getting it now here. And it's only one random screening I randomly found out. So that's such a bummer. Like, I bet if it was at another screening, it would be so much huge. So much more huge. I mean, you got tons of anime fans here. And One Piece is a, still a powerhouse. You know, you got Boruto now. And I don't know how that's going. Bleach is done, so... We still got one more Shonen Jump powerhouse, and and the like the original '90s, and yeah, I don't know what's up. So, but anyway, so back to this film. Like, yeah, just the powers. I mean, granted, it does get tiring in the sense of like Luffy just going at it, going at it. But that's like the essence of these of this series of, of like the whole Shonen Shonen spirit, and and yeah, like this movie was just wow. And uh, that's where it was gonna go. Like it had some, I, I would say, like narrative mechanical depth to it. As to like, holy crap, and this goes through. But you know, it's like they can't really do that in the in the movie and have it reflect in the manga because they're in Wano right now, so it doesn't make sense. But like, just just another adventure off the script, off the board, and and it was just amazing. Like it was such a fun time. I mean, granted, it took a little bit while getting there. But when things start going down and then you, you realize, holy crap, things are, are serious. Like, like we have a threat and he's, he's badass. We have so many fellow pirates showing up. We got the Navy showing up. We got so many cameos. Man, like the cheers and the, seriously, the Conqueror's hockey. That, that was just beautiful. And I'm so glad I caught it. Like, this is the 20th anniversary of the anime, so correct me. Uh, 97 was when the manga came out. And I still... And behind, I'm one volume behind on the manga, but seriously, like, wow, this 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 was just an accomplishment. I mean, granted, the CGI, yeah. So let me go to the nitpicking. Like, there's a CGI stuff in this, and I think it's okay. Like what they did, because it's sort of like if you hand draw that stuff, it's gonna be a bitch, and it's, it's not gonna look nice. But at the same time, it's like they sort of went overboard with the CGI when like crowds scenes when like. The pirates or the navy marines were running around uh, escaping and it's all CG. <laughs> like, it, like, it'll CG it and then they'll go back and hand draw it and then they'll go CG. Um, there's the CG, you know, pirate ships, that's fine. Movement, crazy movements, that's fine. Uh, bullets transformation, that's fine. It definitely reminded me of uh, just um, like Naruto there where Shikaku was like one tail blowing up. And then here we have Bullet doing this stuff. But yeah, wow, what a ride. Like, people clap, it was great. Like, we're watching it with fans and, like, people who know. And it's like, people show up. And then that was, like, a, a lovely, like, farewell. Yeah, that farewell was good. It, it tugs at your heartstrings. Because, like, it, it's, like, characters that you grew I, I grew up with them. I grew up with this pirate group. Like reading this into the 2000s and then catching up and then growing alongside them. Granted, it is kind of eh in terms of the manga sort of progression. But like, wow, this, this 20th anniversary film definitely deserves your ticket to go. And, and yeah, just to rewatch this, just like the, the scope of it all. And it's just like so encouraging and, and just the layering in terms of the cameos and just bringing back all these players. And granted, it is such a natural way of bringing them back. Like, we got Boa. Actually, I should stop. Like, it's such a treat just to see who's in this film. We got a question mark at the end. I really wonder who that is. So, yeah, like, it, it, it makes me just wonder where is it going to go? I mean, Oda said five more years and we're done here. And it's going to be super, super, super sad when, when One Piece is finally found and done and over with. Anyways, I'm so glad Stampede happened. It was such greatness. Great. Oh my god, like the soundtrack. When like that, that, that crucial moment, they go back and play that song. It was like, oh, goosebumps and tingles, man. Like it was just, ooh, the moment, the moment that song hitting you. It's just like, if you've been there from the beginning. I mean, granted, I watched probably, I don't remember how much I watched. But I watched enough to, to enjoy the, the, the anime for what it is. But, um, yeah, so, so there's that. Stampede is done. And, and, and am I going to check the other ones out? Maybe. 
I mean, there was like, what, Gold World or World Gold or something? That was the last one? I don't know. It's gonna pale. It's definitely gonna pale. It's like... It makes me wonder if anyone just randomly watches like, I heard One Piece is supposed to be good. This is probably the worst film to watch because you'll be like, where? What? Who? Who are these people? Like, it's basically Endgame. But better. I said it here. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you, team. Thank you, everybody. Like, I was like, sort of concerned at first with the directing and the writing and I was like, oh man. Oh man. You did it. You guys did it. Your team did it. So thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah, that's it. So keep, you know, supporting the manga, the anime, whatever you do, support it because it's one piece. I wonder if it's ever going to go on Netflix. I would like totally binge the crap out of it. And then more world, more people will watch this amazing era defining anime and manga. And it's wow. Okay. I blabbled enough. So, uh, yeah, just, just, dude, seriously, if you see this, I will definitely, hopefully, potentially, will try my best to rewatch this every time it's screened somewhere, locally, like, for real. If you play this, I will be there. And yeah, and, and this is a classic now. Guaranteed. Instant. Like, wow, feelings. I mean, granted, if you're not a fan of this, you wouldn't show up for this film anyways, but if you could, like, kind of behind, I think, uh, it's gonna be hard. Like, where would I draw the line? I think, yeah, like the, 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 I think probably, crucially, that's hard. I'd say like the toy, the toy, the toy arc, toy line arc. I think if you're done there, you're kind of, you're kind of good. And you, you know most people. Yeah, I was like wondering if some, this and that was going to show up. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm on my toes. Like what, it's going to go down. But anyways, yeah, this is great, very good, great. And uh, wow, it's wild. Thinking about it now, it's like, damn, that was good. Anyways, uh, keep liking, keep watching, and subscribe. And share. Sharing is caring. And that's it for this before and after of One Piece. Happy.